Hi, I'm Dr Gary Palmer of Sports Test and uh, welcome to the clutter of my office. Um, this week I want to talk to you about ditching your GPS system. I'm wearing mine right now. I wear it quite often. I generally will always train with it. But why do I want you to think about ditching it? Well, if you read my race report from last week, you'll see the, uh, the issues I had where I failed to change, charge the battery before I started. As a result, the data was lost. I had to race blind. Several years ago, running London Marathon, uh, quite happily checking my splits, everything was fine until I hit Canary Wharf. All of a sudden, the, uh, the watch went from around about 28, 30 kilometres to sudden, somewhere about 45 in the space of about four, 500 metres. The GPS signal was bouncing off the tall buildings. I didn't know where I was. Similarly, over the last week or two, I've had a couple of my clients um, so have minor mishaps, shall we say. So uh, one of them was riding a 25-mile time trial. Now, this chap's a, a dual athlete and a triathlete, so used to racing 40Ks, wanted to go under the hour for his 25-mile time trial, was pacing nicely off uh, the speedo that he had. Um, average speed, 40.1 Ks an hour, was going to be nicely on to break the hour as far as he was concerned until he realised that 25 mile time trial is actually 40.3 k's. So his, uh, his hour, he didn't quite make it, it was an hour and six he made. Another athlete at the weekend, um, running Brighton Marathon, made some miscalculations on pace, uh, targeted 3.30 half marathon, ran a, a 3.31. Okay, he was disappointed not to reach his 3.30, uh, in personal best time by over 12 minutes. But what you've got to remember is that a lot of the calculations that you need to do, you need to make in your own brain. You can't be reliant on a piece of system on your what on your arm to tell you what's going on. If you're running a major marathon, you need to almost write your splits on your hand so that you know that at a certain time you should be going for a certain point, 5k, 10k marks, so that um, those marathons will be accurately marked, the 5 the 10k marks will be put out accurately, you know that you're on pace, those calculations are easy, rather than you constantly relying on a watch that maybe has gone off track. Some work also done um, several years ago by Professor Tim Noakes while I was out in Cape Town on the central governor theory, telling us that um, an athlete often paces themselves according to how far they think they're riding, as opposed to actually the distance they are covering. And I've done a little bit of research on this myself, and, and it was unpublished. Um, but with duped athletes, and we asked them, uh, cyclists in particular, we asked them to ride a time trial um, of either uh, 40 k's, and we told them we were doing three 40k time trials in the lab, but actually manipulated it that one was 15% longer, 46 k's, and one was 15% shorter, 34 k's. The outcome was we would expect it that in the 34k time trial the athletes would have gone much quicker, and in the 46k time trial they would have died and gone much slower. Actually, there was no difference in average speed. Uh, no statistical difference. The athletes were pacing themselves according to how far they go. So again, I'd suggest that, that maybe, maybe not every race, maybe not on a critical race, but actually cover up your power data, cover up your speed data, cover up the time data, run so you, you know, you've got your watch on, it's stuck in your back pocket, you've got some tape over the screen, and learn to listen to your body again. We're all becoming a little bit too used to being reliant on the data that our um, systems are giving us, you know, relying on what our heart rate will do or should do or won't do, actually start to learn to listen to your body. Yeah, train with your watch on, train with the system on your handlebars, use that data, look at it afterwards, but try a couple of times, maybe in non-important races, try and race without it. Try and train without it and see how you feel. Something different to think about, something different to see whether you can push yourself a little bit harder than you anticipated you could previously. Anyway, early season, so it's a good chance to give something like this a try. Have a good week. Look forward to uh, seeing some results from all of you and look forward to you all performing over the season. Good luck.